lovely to be here today and just to have the opportunity to actually um, meet so many of you and those of you who actually write in and send us texts and emails, it's really nice to be able to put faces to the email, so it's been great and really encouraging to hear your testimonies. Um, I guess just as I've been sitting there, um, it's just given me the opportunity to think about the last few years being part of the team and the different guests we've had on the, on the programs um, at the moment doing She Matters and Cross and Light and just actually hearing about what God has done in these people's lives and the stories have been amazing. Um, addictions to drugs, to alcohol, um, to food, depression, um, people who have been suicidal, um, in very, very difficult circumstances in their marriages, um, just the whole array of issues and struggles that I think on some level we all can relate to. But what happens is the guests come on and they share about um, these really difficult circumstances and then the power of God in their lives and how God is able to transform the most difficult and devastating of circumstances. Um, and I'm just reminded of the verse in um, Isaiah where the prophet says that um, our God brings beauty from the ashes, that we serve a God of redemption. And actually to hear these testimonies and to see the living God at work transforming. And even um, if the transformation is slow, and um, as Mark talked about that affliction that sometimes we all experience, that God is with us in that, that he never leaves us nor forsakes us. So um, it is such a privilege to hear the testimonies, um, to hear about what God does, um, and um, just pray that it ministers hope. And it's really lovely to meet you. I hope that we can chat more out there. God bless. Well, I've been ready very quickly for eight more people to go to Studio 2. I love Revelation TV because... Quite eight hands, Ruth. Really. Four, sorry, gone, sir, one, over to Doug, that's one, three more, you're only talking to a camera, come on, step. well done, one, two, okay, quick, quick, I love Revelation TV because if we can do all of this, you can say half a dozen words, church without walls, there's three, one more, quick, quick, might have to choose for you. <laughs> Doug will find someone. Jane and Jeremy. Hello, I'm Jane and I present um, Thank God for Friday with my husband Jeremy and also She Matters. But going back to the early days, we were involved with Leslie and Howard um, before the channel started. I can remember one very memorable few weeks when I phoned Leslie and I said, how are you doing? She said, I'm a bit stressed at the moment. How has got to go to Israel to film for four to six weeks? I said, well, how can you? You've got 12 kids. What are you going to do? She said, well, I'm going to just sort out a plan. So to cut a long story short, I went home and thought, what can we do to help? So Jeremy came home from work. The bags were packed by the front door. He said, oh, we're going somewhere nice. I said, no, we're moving in with Leslie. And uh, we moved in with her for the whole month. And I said, Jeremy, every morning you are going to do school runs for child one through four. I'm going to stay in Bath child's children five through seven. And that's what we did. And, um, and here we are eight years later presenting a fabulous program for us every Friday night. I can't remember any of those days, I've got to be honest. I've got a great capacity to forget things I don't want to remember. <laughs> but you know, uh, one of the things I will say is that, you know, I feel so humbled when you guys come, come up and you, you introduce yourselves. And I think, you know, it's, God is so good in as much as he chooses, I said this yesterday and I didn't quite finish it, but he chooses the foolish things of this world. And you know, you can't get more foolish than me. I've, I, you really can't, you know, before God, I love this, this God of ours so much. And the thing about you guys is you do too. Yeah. You come there and we're just the same. This is what's so good, you know. And come, you, you guys, you come and talk to us. And uh, TGFF is the prime example of the emails we get from you. Uh, you're just like us. You're fools for Christ. And you can't get more foolish, you know, than being a fool for Christ. Reality TV. <laughs> hey, it's by the seat of the pens. That's the truth. 
honestly, I mean, many of you have come up and told us how blessed you are by Bible study, and you don't know how blessed we are to hear that. I've told one or two of you that um, you should see behind the scenes at five to nine, or even at half past eight, and it's just the grace of God. And to hear how he uses us to minister to you is so humbling and so encouraging, because we don't have to know it, because he knows it. And he just fires us up and... You know, at the end of Bible study, I'll give him a chance in a minute. The end of Bible study, because he always says I talk too much, I've got the mic. <laughs> um, you know, at the end of it, we always look at each other and really say, wow. And uh, I'm going to give him a chance now, but I just want you to look at these uh, balloons going up. This is a little bit of Bible study. That's what the rapture is going to be like. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Not all the emails are read out by Gordon, but there are a number that say, can Tim stop interrupting um, John? So you think this is why I'm at. But at the bottom line is that God's word is relevant today. So I said reality TV. I mean, the, the reason Revelation TV has, has struck a chord in the country is because it's real. Yeah. It's as simple as that. And my bottom line is that God's word is real and it's relevant. There's another kind of reality TV out there, but this is Christian reality. And our failings are out there. It's live. We muff it up every now and again. Sometimes have to correct something we said earlier in the Bible study. But um, I, I just feel the Lord's given television as a medium for today to communicate his word in the same way as he gave the printing press, the Roman roads. Nebuchadnezzar, Pharaoh, you know, the Lord will communicate his word today, and so there may be no excuse. Yeah, that's absolutely right, and, you know, we might be the bill and bed of Bible study, but, hey, I don't want you to forget the puppet master who's sitting over here. It wouldn't be Bible study with, without him, and, 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 and a number of you have said, you know, he... he, he, he cajoles us and te hey, we all tease each other. We do have a laugh on Bible study. It's not serious. But w without Gordon, it just wouldn't be the same. You know, occasionally one of us has to be away. And uh, praise God, we've got some lovely brothers. And perhaps one day we'll even have a sister join us for Bible study. But um, people... Not, not, on, not, 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 not when we're discussing one, <laughs> 1 Timothy chapter, chapter 2. But... <laughs> <laughs> but, I, um, you know, it's, it's wonderful when Hugh joins us or Yemi joins us, and it, it's a true blessing. But some of you have said, and uh, there's no sort of conceit in this, that when the three of us together, there's just something extra. And that is God. He's put us together to do this. And it is such a blessing to be able to do that. And it is truly humbling. Amen. And... Uh... One of the things that, that Howard's decided particularly is that Bible study should increase. And so from next week, Bible study will be on Monday night at 9 o'clock and Tuesday night at 9 o'clock. And I'm delighted to say that Tim and John have both said that they can be committed uh, to it as well. So Shall I introduce? Let me introduce to you the doctors. Here they are. Judy, it's supposed to be Richard and Judy show, and actually you all right? <laughs> well, we met in Israel, or we actually had a chat in Israel for the first time, and, and we had opportunities to practice as doctors as, in Israel, which is lovely. And, and, you know, when I first went to Israel, I went, I was determined to go as a, as a tourist. And I went in a, in a spirit of rebellion, really, because I said, you know what it's like being a doctor? Is there a doctor on board? Is there a doctor in the house? I said to God, I'm going on holiday. I'm not going to pack any medicines. I'm not going to pack my stethoscope. I'm not going to pack any antibiotics. I'm going to go incognito as a tourist. Less than half an hour went after we got on board, the tannoy went off, and the, and do you know what it said? <laughs> Exactly, and I was the only doctor on board, so I couldn't just sink into my seat. And really what God was showing me through that, and throughout the tour, 
I had to minister to people every day as a doctor. In fact, I missed the first trip we went to the Seal Galilee because I had to escort a patient in the ambulance to the Hadassah Hospital um, because they had a head injury. So really what God was saying to me is, I called you to be a doctor. It is part of who you are. It's not, it's, you don't have to worry about it. My, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. When he calls you to do something, he gives you the grace and the anointing to do it. So praise God. So I enjoy being a doctor. I've done Helping Focus for about five years. It's on Wednesdays, 3.30, um, every other Wednesday, and it's repeated on 5.30. So I hope you enjoy and keep watching. My name is Richard, and um, I'm going to tell you a horrible truth about doctors, is they're no good at their job. <laughs> they only practice their trade because everybody dies. <laughs> and that's what my program is, to the point. Um, the point is that everybody dies, and um, the Lord took me out of general practice about 15 years ago. Come forward a little bit, says how. <laughs> Into the light. Uh, the Lord took me out of general practice uh, about 15 years ago to be an evangelist. Um, which I think is much more fun than general practice anyway, because doctors are so useless and everybody dies. And after that, it's heaven or hell. It's heaven or hell. Um, so I wanted to, on this program, to the point, uh, if you watch it t tomorrow, with Yemi over there, and of course, I don't know what I'm doing, but Yemi's a professional, he knows exactly what's going on. And we're going to be talking about near-death experiences, because I've interviewed over 300 people who died. Um, I've even published death certificates. Uh, people have actually died and met Jesus Christ and been to heaven or hell. And what could be more important than that? To make sure everyone goes to heaven. So on the, on the program, which Yemi is really the presenter, um, we talk about near-death experiences, we talk about the Bible is supernatural, we talk about creation, we talk about the, um, the crucifixion, we talk about the resurrection, and I believe the Shroud of Turin is a real thing, and we talk about that quite often, don't we, Yemi? And we talk about, we have some guests on who've uh, can add to, add to all the stuff, and we talk about money, and we talk about all sorts of things that somebody on the streets who's talking to an unbeliever can, um, a Christian on the streets, when they're talking to an unbeliever, say, how can I believe that the Bible is supernatural? They'll have some answers. And also, if viewers want to bring um, Susie in the office, there are lots of free DVDs available to help you on the streets to talk to unbelievers. That's what our program's all about. Thank you so much for coming, and it's wonderful. Thank you. Let me introduce you to Joanna, who does Five Alive on one of our evenings, and our co-presenter is someone you may have seen once or twice. His name is Doug. Doug, come and join us. I thought I, was, I thought I was going to have the stage all to myself, but apparently not. You, you, it, you it, can it, start the show. You can start the show. <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Joanna, and I present um, Five Alive on a Tuesday, and on occasionally I've done Monday nights too, and Wednesday night. Now I think I am, um, so I'm here representing the Five Alive team. Yes, I am. And uh, I think, I'm, I don't know, I may be the last to speak, but also I'm the newest presenter here tonight, as far as I can make out. And just to tell you actually, is that last year, this time, I was actually sitting over there. And where I am today, a year later, I'm actually on the stage. I mean, isn't God good? Isn't God good indeed? Yes. And, um, and I want to encourage you. And what we do on Five Live, we, we do have a good time. We have a lot of fun. That, that's, you know, it's quite good to work with, I have to say. We have a lot of fun. But also, what, the message that we try to get out is encouragement. And we've got people who text in an email about their situations. And also, we try to bring a biblical perspective to, you know, to, to their situation. Also, it's fun and it's entertainment, but we really also like to share a deeper spiritual message. And um, I hope you continue to watch Five Alive, particularly on a Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> I, I now know why I don't let you start that often, because <laughs> I mean, it's been great. No, we had, um, was it a year ago, wasn't it? We, 
uh, April we, we had um, uh, op opportunities for presenters and they all came and, and, and Leslie and I were sitting at the back there and they were all coming up here and uh, in fear and trepidation and we, 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 we were, you know, Rochelle that you can see taking photographs, she, she took on a new persona and, and sat there and, and we, we were just cracking up because every time she was something different she ran away to a circus and you know and, 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 and the presenters had to get through this and if they got through that we knew that they had a chance of, uh, of, of making it but it, it, I have to say Joy and I just uh, enjoy working together uh, it's gonna be Tuesdays it's gonna be Wednesdays sometimes but we, we, we fit in whenever we come and of course I can't stand up here without talking about simply the truth um, it, it, 